For this episode, we're going to be doing all of the mushroom challenges in Kingdom Hearts 2. So yeah, just want to let you know, uh, I am not being commentating from these episodes, but I will be in editing. You're just going to have to wait until the end once we get to number 13. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and you know, there will be more videos coming out very soon. So yeah, enjoy! first organization mushroom is in the world that never was, the bad where we fought against Roxas. In this one I decided to choose a final form for this one and basically just do a bit of F jumping and do a bit of F tagging. And you have to get about 30 hits before time runs out. So yes, uh, make sure uh, you remember this uh, action command that you know it's where we fought the dusks but this time we have to do it twice so we have to get him behind so that he doesn't see us that is how you're going to win this one the second one is in Halloween Town or known as Christmas Town it's where we fought the uh, experiment. So yes, uh, for this strategy I'm going to use Stitch for this and I'm going to use uh, a bunch of Reflex. So anyways, the main goal is to get uh, AT or higher. Um, as you could tell, I have already done this because I just wanted to get some Simpsons items as well. So yeah, so I'm sorry for all the uh, 94 about that. So yeah. All you have to do is just keep dodging. You could do this a much easier way, but for me, I decided to choose this method. Number 3 is going to be in Beast's Castle, where we fought uh, Zaldin. Yeah, I, I suggest that you have some uh, draw items, uh, drawn grips, and as well as uh, the Keyblade that I have right now is one of the parts in Fan World. So yes, uh, you want to collect uh, 450, because those orbs will go away as fast as possible. I think the highest goal is to get like 500, but you know. Uh, but the main goal is to get, you know, 400 and then 50 as well. Number 4 is in the Land of Dragons where we fought Lord Shan. So yeah, uh, for this one, I highly suggest that you have uh, Wisdom Form and the Keyblade that I chose uh, for winning the uh, in the Colosseum. So yeah, uh, basically you, you, you want to make sure they don't tackle you, so basically it's like it's but you have to get like 60, 65 and also make sure your magic is completely empty. Um, I highly suggest that you use a laser to make it go much faster, but I did not know that. But I just spammed, you know, gear and then, you know, just to empty it out, so yeah. That's basically about it, so that's all you have to do. By the way, your party members don't help you. This one is super duper easy. This is number five. Basically, what you want to do is you want to try and get as much combos as you can to try and get into the down. So yeah, another thing I have done this before. Yeah, what a joke. Number six is going to be in. The Underworld, uh, sorry for my dialogue, um, it's where you fought uh, Demix for the first time. So yeah, what you want to do is you want to have uh, plenty of magic in you. So if it's like a circle, you want to use fire, if it's a line, use blizzard, and then if it's a straight uh, divided angle, you want to use thunder. However though, for me, I just spam thunder a lot, but, in, but yeah.
Number seven is going to be a um, twi Twilight Town. For this, for this one, just use Reflect, and then that's it. So it's basically like a Counter Strike anime. So that's just it. Nothing, nothing too serious about that. But for what comes next? Anger and hate. For what's going to come up next? It has to be the most difficult challenge of all of Kingdom Hearts games. Pacific. I seen so many people who played this mini game on one condition getting the high score of 85. I've seen Let's Players do it, and oh my god. This has wage, anger, and all that stuff. And do you know what? This took me for about one hour, five minutes, twelve seconds. I'm not even joking. I'll put it on screen right now. And See these videos being sped up? Yeah, that's how how long this bullshit mini game. And to make things worse, you have to struggle with this one a lot. And yes, I do believe I have to struggle through that as well. You're not the only ones. There are going to be so many people out there who are trying to get this challenge done. And I've seen a lot. <sighs> but yes. Number 8. The Mushroom. Number 8. No joke. The hardest one ever. But, in the end, I came out victorious. And that is it. We're done with number eight. The hardest one. Guess that guess that calls it why it's a high shroom. Uh terrible joke. With that annoyance over, we're going to go to the next one, which is number nine. Possibly the most easiest one. You find this enemy in Raiding Garden where you fought against Demix. And yeah, this one's just easy. Make sure you have uh, the Underworld Keyblade equipped with you. So yeah, as you can see, I did it so perfectly. I mean, this is like going to be the most easy strategy of all time, especially from the other one. Oh, jeez.
Remember in Deep Jungle there was a Heartless that you had to like find the real one? Well guess what, in this one, number 10 is going to be that one. You'll find this in uh, Port Royal in the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean world where the treasure room is before you fought against Abosa. So you want to defeat the real one about in 55 seconds, so yeah. Easy strategy, you want to have your first person view and make sure you pause a lot so that you'll find the real one. I think that many people use this uh, this method a lot, so yeah, high strategy you do that. It'll get harder later on, but if you keep forcing it, you'll definitely win it. For this one, it's going to be in Timeless River, where we fought against Pete with his uh, boat before he got away. So yeah, this one's kind of a strange one and also a bit, a bit, a little bit of a hard one, but. You know, it's not like his other brother, which is number 8, well technically he jumps around, but you know. So yeah, if you follow the description of what you have to do, that's all you have to do. For the last one, it is in Twilight Town again, but this time, it's where we fought, it's where we woke up with our first adventure. So yes, for this one, uh, just use Western Form and use the... Uh, Keyblade that Cloud gave you. So, yeah. Bit of it simple, but you know, a bit of it annoying because you have all these rolls in the way, which is kind of annoying. But, like I said, just do that, and then, you know, if you could try and get past. Oh, by the way, magic attacks will not work, just to give you the warning. So, yeah, we're done with that. And pretty close, too, as well. So, there is going to be one more. Mushroom, that is where it's going to be in Radian Garden. So, after all of that devastating hard work, so yeah, we want to return back to Hollow Bastion where the crystal it is, and then we want to go to the Great Mars. Going there, I should really turn off Donald's thing first before we do that and then I don't know, yeah, I go. we want to get back Donald Lucky okay. All right, back we go here they are one two three four five six seven eight fuck you nine ten eleven twelve so what we want to do, head into the big light and look up. Number 13 has appeared. The winner, winner's proof. And the proof of peace. We are now a m mushroom master. Yeah, thank you for that. And we get a little, we get a little silver crown for it. And here they go. So yeah, they're all gone now. They will not appear again. So yeah, we got this keyblade. No, it's, it's, so it's it's very good, but however though, I don't think it gives you any experience. Hang on, let me just try to yeah. yeah. It's over. <coughs> yeah, you don't get any experience, yeah. so this is it. It's this there for you if you want it. I mean, heck, if you really want it, then go ahead. But it's very good. But honestly though. You know, a weapon is and a great instrument has disappeared into some experience. So it's basically it's a stronger than an ultra weapon, but also it's like, you know, that. But I might have to equip it if I want to get some levels, so yeah. So that's that. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, uh, I'm gonna go back to uh, Hollow Bastion because we have one last thing to do. I keep calling it Hollow Bastion. It's not Hollow Bastion. It's Radiant Garden. There it is. Well, we did say that you know asking Scrooge McDuck will activate a mini game for us. So that's what we do. So basically, it's just getting high points. So it's just entirely optional. Now I want to check what we have to do. We got all the sketches. So we need to get 200 points. It's really not, you know, that difficult. I mean. We got 200 points. Uh, let's see if this will count. Maybe it wants us to get more than that. No, oh, okay. All right, then. So we're done with that. Yep, we've completed everything. Okay, the counter list. What was that counter list? It's just no one. Unless if it's Kyrie, that makes sense. But yeah, um, the mini games, however, um, I only just did one, but also we could try and go back and hang on. Let's see what we done. It's Wedding Garden is not complete because we have to do all these missions. We done Beast Castle. Uh, I guess what I could do is um. Yeah, I think here's what I'll do. I'll do the most difficult ones, but I will have to be, you know, off screening to do something like that. But, anyways, uh, if you want the, uh, the Olympus Coliseum, you might have to equip that. And then you might, if you do have any, like, drawing equipment, but I don't have, uh, that would be good. I'll do this, and then I'll end off the video. Alright, let's see. What do we want to do? Let's do this one. I think this is based off time, is it? Yeah, this is just like the training one. I think all you have to do is like turn off all your equipment, which is really hard, and you want to get a bunch of luckies. That will increase so much more. Yeah, that. Did it count as a pop break? Oh, unless that count. I think this tells me I have to get about 500. Back off! Take this. Maybe we get to like three hundred. It's over. This is it. Let's see if I'm lucky. Take this. Huh. 
Time's up! And let's see how many did I have to get. Oh my god. Uh, I suggest you look up at a video on that and then you know you'll find out. Well, at least we did all that. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I might have to do the organization data battles. And then, I think that's what I might do. I might have to grind for some bits. I might have to synthesize some items. And then get up to level up at about level 99. But, um, once I've done that, uh, I might have to get some, like, uh, d defense up and then off screen get some synthesis and yeah I got so many of these this is ridiculous it's all because of one stupid <clears throat> mushroom and I might have to like off screen and get the one percent chance uh, weapons that drop for Donald and Goofy I might have to get that so yeah and that's what it is yeah that so yeah uh, join me guys next time as we do the organization 13 battle data fights. And then after the organization 13 fights, I might do a bit of mini games, or I could end off with the finale part with doing the Hades Cup. I think that's what I might try and do, but I might have to like off screen to do some mini games, like for instance. It will have to tell me I have to do the magic carpet wide, and then do Atlantis again, which is ugh, and then get the higher points in, every, in each single cup. But I might have to show that off at some point. But yeah. Anyways. Yeah, take care y'all. See you guys next time.